All right, this is a little song. This is a little something that Dr. Collins and I worked up in the subway. We were busking in the subway <laughs> back in 1985. Yeah, we made, I think, 39 cents, but that was a pretty good day for us, actually. It was enough to get you into medical school. <laughs> I'm here with Francis Collins, he mapped the human genome. I'm here with Philip Fisher, he made the tomatoes talk. This is true. I'm here with Francis Collins, he's a New York Times bestselling author, and he led the fight against the coronavirus, and he was awarded the National Medal of Science and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Well, I'm here with Philip Fisher, he did that thing with the tomato um, and something about vegetables that had tails. That's that's all you got about me? Oh, give me a break. You know, I've been in the lab and running projects uh, for about science for 30 years and my kids are kind of grown up, so uh, you, what else? Uh, you've made some discoveries or something. Uh, no, I don't know, actually. Let's just stick with the tomato thing. I made cucumbers talk, too. Okay. Does that count for? That works. That counts for something? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> We're here today because we both like science and love God. And we don't think the Christian faith and science are at odds. To teach the children well doesn't mean we have to tell them that the Bible isn't true or that science has it out for you. We don't think we're mistaken from Francis Bacon, who said God has given two great books, so open book and take a look at scripture and at nature so we can celebrate your grand design. Why, it's divine! And we will find God has a mind in faith and science just don't have to be at war. And that's what he and I have come here for. I'm here with Philip Fisher. He did something with the I'm here with Francis Collins. He created the coronavirus in a bathtub with Bill Gates so they could implant us all with microchips and control our brains and take away our freedoms. Freedom! <laughs> well, what? None of that is true. But I read it on Facebook. <laughs> you can't believe everything you read on social media. You mean you're, you're not married to Kim Kardashian? <laughs> no, I am not. Well, if I can't believe social media, if I can't trust social media, who can I trust? We trust God and His Word. I study nature, or so I've heard. And together, faith and science make us cheer. And, and that, that is why the both of us are here.